In today's video, we're going to talk about the best cat breeds for allergy sufferers. If you're a cat lover with mild cat allergies, it still might be possible for you to have a cat in your home. Although no cat breed is scientifically hypoallergenic, anecdotal reports claim some breeds might be less likely to trigger allergies. Some feline breeds exist that are considered low allergy or hypoallergenic cats. This is because they produce fewer allergens than others. Cats do produce pet dander, a common allergen, but the culprit for the estimated 10% of the population who are allergic to cats may be a protein, FELD1, that is present in cat saliva. The cat breeds that are anecdotally good for allergies vary in appearance and temperament. Some are related breeds while others are more unique. Moreover, it's important to note that individual cats within these breeds still might trigger allergies, as each cat will have slightly different allergens. Technically, there are no 100% hypoallergenic domestic cats or cats that are completely non-allergenic. All cats produce some amount of dander, so you won't find dander or allergy-free cat. However, there are breeds that produce less of it and therefore make good cats for people with allergies. Here are the best cat breeds that might work for people with allergies. Javanese The Javanese is an active, vocal cat, as befits most oriental cats. Cat trees and high perches are necessary equipment for them. If these are not provided, the Javanese will make anything tall her own special perch, as her slender figure conceals the strength of a powerful jumper. The Javanese resulted from a cross with a Balinese and color point short hair, creating a Siamese-like cat with long hair and a wider coat color range. These cats don't have an undercoat, meaning they don't shed much and only need a weekly brushing. Thus, they spread fewer allergens, which might work for people with mild cat allergies. Balinese Cat trees and high perches are necessary equipment when you live with a Balinese. If these are not provided, the Balinese will make anything tall her own special perch. Her slender figure conceals a powerful jumper. You may find her leaping effortlessly to the top of your refrigerator, bookcases, and in even the tops of doors. The Balinese is nearly identical to the Siamese cat breed in most regards, except for its long coat and full plume tail. Despite its coat length, the affectionate and active breed is known for being a low shedder and just needs weekly brushing. These cats also might have less of the Fel D1 protein that causes allergies than many other cats. Cornish Rex The Cornish Rex becomes involved with her parent. She loves to be right next to her parent and must have some time together every day. Many Cornish Rex will do anything to be with their parents and will even learn to walk on a lead in order to spend more time together. In general, they love being handled by their parents. Some people believe the short, wavy coat of the Cornish Rex doesn't tend to shed as much dander as long-haired cats or cats with dense coats. Rex cats only have a fine undercoat and no top coat at all. These cats are generally very intelligent and active, and they love to be the center of attention. Devon Rex The Devon Rex is an active, energetic breed. She is truly a little clown and will delight her parent by giving enchanting playful performances. For this, of course, the Devon expects to be thanked with pets and loving attention and will return the affection with purring. Like the Cornish Rex, some people also recommend the Devon Rex as one of the best cat breeds for people with allergies. Its wavy coat doesn't tend to shed much, which minimizes the spread of dander and other allergens in your home. These cats are outgoing and playful, and they prefer to be involved in what their humans are doing. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Selkirk Rex. In addition to her stuffed animal-like thick coat, it's Selkirk's animated spirit that earns praise from her fans. She's a loving, very affectionate cat that tends to require attention. Although she's not overly persistent or demanding, she may follow her pet parent around the house until she gets what she wants. But she'll definitely snuggle up with you while you're on the couch, at your desk, or anywhere you happen to sit. While the Cornish Rex and Devon Rex are typically high-energy cats, the Selkirk Rex is much more laid-back. But like the other Rex cats, this breed also has a wavy coat that sheds minimally. Brushing at least a couple of times a week is ideal to remove dead hair and tangles, as well as to limit its ability to spread allergens. Russian Blue The Russian Blue is a sweet-tempered, loyal cat who will follow her owner everywhere so don't be surprised if she greets you at the front door. While she has a tendency to attach to one pet parent, in particular, she demonstrates affection with her whole family and demands it in return. It's said that Russian Blues train their owners rather than the owners training them, a legend that's been proven true time and again. The Russian Blue is a cat breed that anecdotally is good for people with mild cat allergies. Its plush, shimmering coat is somewhat low shedding and typically only requires weekly brushing. 
In fact, these quiet and gentle cats often love sitting with their favorite humans to be brushed. Oriental The Oriental cat is not only beautiful but also is highly intelligent. She can be trained to walk on a lead. This does not mean, however, that she can be trained to do everything you might wish. Like most other highly intelligent breeds, the Oriental has her own desires. The Oriental is an affectionate cat and requires her parent to be as dedicated to her as she is to her parent. The parent must be affectionate to the Oriental and must spend some time spent playing with her. The Oriental is a cross of several cat breeds, including the American Shorthair, Abyssinian, and Siamese. These athletic, playful, and intelligent cats are moderate shedders that require brushing a couple of times a week. Rubbing them with a damp cloth also can help to remove dead hair and dander to minimize allergens. Siberian The Siberian's heart is as warm as his homeland is cold. He loves people and wants to be near them, so expect this affectionate cat to follow you around. Besides being loving and attentive, the Siberian is also active and playful. He will instigate games of fetch by bringing you a favorite toy to throw. Any item can become a plaything for this clever cat, so keep jewelry or other potentially intriguing items out of his sight. Teaching him tricks is a fun and easy way to challenge his agile brain. The Siberian cat's claim in the allergenic department stems from the belief that this breed produces relatively little of the Fel D1 allergen compared to other cats. However, there still is little scientific proof of this. These cats have very thick coats, though they don't tend to mat or tangle. Weekly brushing is usually all they need. Siamese The Siamese cat is not only beautiful but also she is highly intelligent. She can be trained to walk on a lead. This intelligence does not mean, however, that she can be trained to do everything you might wish. Like most other highly intelligent breeds, the Siamese has her own desires. The popular Siamese is also anecdotally a low allergen cat breed, though there is no definitive scientific evidence to that point. These curious cats sport a low maintenance coat that doesn't shed much and only needs weekly brushing. But they generally love to be around their favorite humans as much as possible, which might trigger some people's allergies. Sphinx The Sphinx cat is an energetic, acrobatic performer who loves to show off her attention. She has an unexpected sense of humor that is often at odds with her dur expression. Although Sphinx cats are commonly described as hairless, they do have a fine, downy fuzz that feels almost suede-like when stroked. Like all cat breeds, Sphinx cats produce dander. But if bathed frequently, which the cat needs anyway to remove excess oil from its skin, the dander's presence can be minimized. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.